Hello, welcome to a lesson on the interior angles and convex polygons. We're going to do a little drawing here and then some on GeoGebra as well. So the basic idea is to make a polygon um, larger than a triangle and then to create triangles inside to think about the interior angles. So our first example, I'll draw a quadrilateral. Now, it doesn't have to be a special quadrilateral, it just has to have four sides. The idea is if you start at one of the vertexes or one of the vertices, and I'll just pick the bottom left, how many triangles can you draw from that ver vertex to um, vertex or vertices that are opposite it? So in this case, it's one. Notice that with a, with four sides, four sides, we get um, two triangles. I'm just going to put tri. Now, if you go to um, a polygon with more sides, so the next one up would be a pentagon, five sides, one, two, three, four, and five. If you were to pick a vertex here, any vertex, and then again, try to create triangles by drawing two vertices that are opposite that. You can create two this time. You can draw one to that uh, vert vertice and then one to the other vertice. It can't be to the one next to it because it wouldn't form a triangle at all. So notice when we have five sides that we actually get three triangles. Um, that's the idea. What happens is each time you add a side, I'll just do one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a hexagon, poorly drawn, but it's a hexagon. Um, when you get a hexagon and you pick a vertex, now you can draw these lines to three opposite. And you, and if you count that, you have four triangles that are created there. So what happens is the number of triangles you create is always two less than the number of sides. You can see that there. Um, and from that, you can think about the interior angles. And so the, the reason you can think about the interior angles is because those interior angles are made up from those triangles. Let's take a look from the left. Um, the quadrilateral on the left, I'm going to put Q-U-A-D there, all right? If we look at the interior angles, there's one, two that um, are just standalone, and then three, four, all right? Now, the thing you're to notice is that from those four um, angles, interior angles of the quadrilateral, it actually is the sum of all of the interior angles of the triangle. So you have the top triangle with one, two, three um, interior angles. That's going to add up to 180 degrees. And then the bottom one, one, two, three, you have another 180 degrees. And so 180 plus 180 ends up being 360 degrees. So what that means is the total sum of the interior angles in a, in a quadrilateral are 360. And if you just continue that for each one of these, what you'll notice is that um, the interior angles of the pentagon are all of the interior angles of those three triangles. So now you have 180 times three, which is 540 degrees, all right? And then that just continues on as you go to the hexagon, you're going to have 180 times four, which is 720 degrees. So each time, what you're going to do is you're going to take the number of sides, okay? We're going to call that in. We're going to say for a polygon with n sides, um, you subtract two from that. So that's n minus two. That gives you the number of triangles, all right? And then if you want the number of degree, degrees, you take the n minus two and then multiply that by 180 degrees for each triangle. So uh, that gives you the sum there as well. Let's briefly take a look at GeoGebra before this video closes. All right, so here, if I take a polygon, if I were to do a hexagon, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, and then back to the home base, that's an irregular poly uh, hexagon. It looks kind of ugly, but if you were to measure all of the interior angles, and um, I would have you do this for fun, um, here's one, and then here's the second one right here, and here's the second, third one right here, and so on around this polygon, you'll find out that you have, um, and when you draw it funny like this, you have different angles at each one of these. So what you could do just to verify this with a calculator is take all of these different angles, add them up, and just verify that every time you're getting 360, that sum, excuse me, not 360, this is a hexagon, 720 degrees total. And then no matter how you move this hexagon about, you're just, although you'll change the angles, you'll still have that sum of 720 every time.